I have no name as a woman in the 1800s I lived in the shadow of my husband Seth Miller who is buried here at Burial Place Hill. In 1848 when he took his own life at the age of 46 his friends chose the inscription on his tombstone which tells one side of our family's story. The inscription reads, My wife from me departed and robbed me like a knave, which caused me brokenhearted to descend into my grave. My children took an active role and to doom me did contrive, which struck a dagger through my heart, which I could not survive. It's neat and clean to make us seem like the villain in this story. But a mother knows a parent's role does not contain such glory. Had Seth understood that charity begins at home, perhaps he would not have found himself dying all alone. My husband was very ambitious and would forgo feeding our children generously in order to scrimp and save. I couldn't bear to watch my hungry children be deprived. And so I decided to leave him. This choice was akin to a death wish in those days, to be a single woman alone with two children. You see, life in those days was not easy. Childbirth was risky. Children often died unexpectedly and without explanation. Appreciation for the simpler gifts in life flourished. And I was happy to be free from the yoke of my marriage. No one knows what happened to my children and I. I am here tonight to honor the forgotten and unnamed who lived amongst those buried here all the same. Just remember there are two sides to every story and maybe it's not what's recorded but what's omitted that gives us a more accurate depiction of history.